Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and this week we have one of the best free-to-play events we've seen for Idle Heroes, and in fact, I'd go so far as to say this is the best event we've seen of 2024 so far. So get excited for this one, there's tons of free-to-play rewards coming, and also spenders, if you're willing to max this event, you guys get a lot too. But personally, I might even approach this event fully free-to-play because the rewards are that good. Now before we go ahead and check it out, let me warn you, there's a bit of a scam with this week's event, so... I will talk about that in a second, but also let me tell you about Patreon. Patreon is a way you can support my channel financially and in return get yourself access to things like account reviews, which we do through Discord and Twitch on Tuesdays. If you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead and hit that link for Patreon up there in the top corner of the screen and a link for our Discord server is in the description. Hopefully, if you're interested, we'll catch you on a Tuesday and yeah, I'd love to see what you guys are doing on your accounts. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So this week is Wishing Coin and Sky Labyrinth for Easter and April Fools. Now we're being scammed a little bit from DH Games, but they haven't scammed us with Sky Labyrinth. We're getting 15 Mithril pickaxes every day, so make sure you grab those because they're going to help you in the event. And the Sky Labyrinth is giving better bonuses than normal. You get these additional fantasy starry gems and also some charm treasure coupons. And these charm treasure coupons are going to be super useful for you guys, not necessarily for going in on this week's event, but for saving them and converting them to normal treasure tickets. If you go into the treasure train, hit go collect and go to the top right corner, you'll see the coupon replacement. That lets you turn these charm coupons into normal coupons. And in a few weeks time, we're going to get hero token as the reward that's going to be increased in the treasure train. And if you've got 150 tickets, you can go ahead and max this thing up for April because March is about to end. There's only 69 hours left. And uh, well, you can go ahead and blast that out and get yourself some real nice rewards for hero token. And hero token is widely considered the best possible possible reward from treasure train because it gives really good base stats and also exclusive bonuses for classes which they can use in any game mode it is not locked specifically to campaign or tower you can use it anywhere which makes it really versatile and useful also hero token is giving you bonus stats as well if you get more and more of these which obviously compounds and gets you way more bonuses for your treasure train so personally i wouldn't go using these tickets this week because i'd rather use them in hero token in the future not to mention that the actual festival treasures this week are kind of mid. This one here is only giving you bonuses in Tower of Dream, Tower of Oblivion, Seal Land, and Aspen Dungeon, and it's giving you a boost to speed. That's kind of nice if you need that speed boost, but it isn't really much, and I don't really want to go maxing this thing for a measly speed boost that might not even let me overtake opponents in the later stages of those game modes. The bonus stats are nice, but I wouldn't go chasing it just for them. If you look here, the Lily Basket that's giving some control immunity for the same game modes, and the Magic Easter Egg is giving holy damage again for the same game modes. These are not must-have items, there are much better ones we've seen in the past, and the only reason I would grab these is if the event's just handing them to you, and it gets you some extra bonus attack and HP. Now I do like the magic easter egg for the fact it gives a pretty solid bonus to attack, and also a pretty chunky bonus to HP whilst you're at it, but personally you don't need to go trying to hoard as much of this as possible. The only reason I'm telling you this is if there's ever a moment where you have to choose between the magic easter egg and the easter lily basket, I would personally go with the easter egg. You may also have noticed that we have these starry gems added to Sky Labyrinth. However, this is the scam. These are not normal starry gems. You can't use them in the auction house. You can't use them as contract starry gems. They are completely defunct of purpose, except for awakening this foolish copy. And oh my word, these rewards are bad. If you go ahead and get yourself an E through to an A foolish, you'll get yourself some surprise gifts. And all that's getting you is maybe gold or spirit or a little bit of dust here, maybe some guild coins it's really not that great it's only when you get an s tier foolish can you get this bottom reward for a whopping woohoo five masters toolboxes and twelve thousand stellar shards even if you're unlucky you might just get five glorious relics the rewards are really bad but i think that's the point you just don't get much at all and actually, there's a scam part of this event where if you want to go ahead and open these superb Easter eggs, they are giving you 100 starry gems. But it's fantasy starry gems that are rubbish and can only be used on Foolish. And to buy these eggs, you have to use contract starry gems, which in my opinion are way more valuable. And honestly, I don't think that spending is worth the chance to pick up maybe stellar shards or crystals because this week there is something way better to spend your contract story gems on so stay tuned because i'll be telling you just about that let's go to the mysterious chest 
chest real quick and you can see that you can go ahead and buy your usual things with gems. In my personal opinion, I will only be getting the heroic summon scrolls and promotion stones and that's because 500 gems is great value for that. But everything else I personally don't want to be grabbing and we've already established these fantasy story gems are not worth it. However, there is wishing coins this week and they are getting you access to not just the normal super wishing coins and profit orbs, they're going to be getting you sewing tools. And from one full complete here in the wishing fountain, you can pick up not just a charm treasure coupon, which is actually really, really good. Uh, you're getting yourself 20 of these sewing tools, which means because you can do nine full completes in the wishing fountain, you can actually pick up a whopping 180. And these sewing tools are super useful. As you can see, DH Games has added them to the value pack, so they are this week's primary currency for making progress. In fact, the value packages this week are giving some pretty good stuff. You've got gems, mithril pickaxes, which can help you in Skylab, you've got wishing coins, and you've got charm treasure coupons. But as I've already said, I'd rather switch those to normal treasure coupons at the end of the event. But the story gems as well, it's pretty good value, not just for the treasure coupons, but also for everything else as well. So I'll be breaking down how to best approach this event. But before we do that, we need to know why these sewing tools are good. And to get them, you are going to need to be using wishing coins. Now, one quick caveat before we break down the event. Let me remind you that to go ahead and do 100 spins here, it actually only requires 80 wishing coins. So you don't need 2,700 wishing coins to do the normal 2,700 spins you'd need to get nine completes. You only need 2,160. So be sure to go to the arena shop and make sure if you've got any wishing coins lying around, because you will need these, especially if you're a free-to-play player, to make the most out of this week's event. So let's look at the event and see what makes it so good. Well, we have to use these sewing needles to build rabbits. Step one is going to cost you 10 sewing needles. Step two is going to cost you 20. Step three is 30. Step four is 40. And step five is 50. That means you need a total of 150 sewing needles to go ahead and build a rabbit. Good thing wishing coins are going to get you 180 then. But what would I pick here? Well, personally, I'd be grabbing Heroic Summon Scrolls or going for the gems down here. I think they're your best two picks. For step two, I'd be going for Rock and Fluorite, as these are the materials needed for Tenant Spot 2 and Tenant Spot 4, which are where Transcendence Heroes go. Step three, I'll definitely be grabbing Soul Symbols if you need them, but there is also a six-star puppet chest and a skin chest, which might take your fancy. And step four, I'll be going for the Active Skill or Passive 2, as these are the most common sublimation choices. Finally, step five might look like no decision, really. You've got all the same reward here, but actually, that's not true. Go to the Rabbit Doll Goals here in the corner, and you can see that Fortress, Forest, Shadow, and Abyss Heroes are giving very different rewards. If you go for the Fortress one, you can pick up Stellars or Crystals of Transcendence. If you go for the Forest one, you can see you can pick up Core of Origin Shards, which is really, really good. If you go for Shadow, you can grab a Sublimation Chest. Again, phenomenal reward for free-to-play players. And finally, there is also Spiritual Essence for the Abyss one, which is kind of bad. Also, all of these have a chance to get you an artifact chest, and this chest does contain Auspicious Lucky Cat, if that was something you were hoping to grab. But personally, I'm looking at these lower rewards, as these are, of course, in my opinion, better. Now, you might have realized free-to-play players can absolutely get one of those rewards if you've got wishing coins, and that is exciting. So free-to-play players are definitely picking up a Core of Origin chest or a Sublimation chest if you guys have managed to save your wishing coins, but it gets better. Ordinary Easter eggs are getting you two of these sewing tools as well, which means if you can open 60 of them, you can get 120. Combine that with the 180 wishing coins, then that's 300, which means that's enough to build two rabbits. So you can get a Core of Origin chest and a Sublimation chest. Good thing then the game is letting us buy 60 of them for a whopping 24,000 gems, but that is totally worth it because not only is it getting you access to those top rewards, it's also getting you Celestial Island materials down here too, and also a chance for Master's Toolboxes. Heck, if you get a superb Easter egg, it lets you open this as well, which is getting you things like Stellar Shards, Crystals of Transcendence, and a chance to awaken a foolish, I guess. But if you get really lucky, you might even get Aurora Gem Shards or Spirit Vein Shards. But then again, you could get super lucky and get a diamond Easter egg, which if opened can get you a small number of essence sublimation. Maybe you're going to get yourself a small number of origin shards or heck, you might even pick up stellar shards, crystals of transcendence or some destiny materials. But you also definitely get an orange treasure here. And that is where I would pick the Easter egg instead of the Easter lily basket. So as you can see, guys, if you have 24,000 gems and all those wishing coins needed, 2,160 of them, you can get yourself as a free to player, a forest rabbit, getting you the origin shard here and a shadow rabbit 
getting you an essence sublimation chest. Also, if you were a spender with some contract story gems, my advice would be if you've got some lying around and you want to use them, go ahead and grab 110 sewing tools from here and another 55 from here. That's 3,750 contract story gems. Not only is that going to get you 30 of these train tickets, which are pretty useful when Hero Token comes along, it's going to get you wishing coins if you didn't have enough. Also, because this is getting you 165 sewing needles, you might not even have to use all your wishing coins here. You can actually stop early and only complete eight stages in that case, which is pretty nice. But more importantly, that's going to get you access to a third rabbit. And in that case, you want to go ahead and get the fortress rabbit so you can just whop another 1 million stellar shards onto your account. Not bad considering you get 30 train tickets as well and a ton of mithril pickaxes for added rewards in the Sky Labyrinth. Honestly, I think there's much worse ways to spend 3,750 contract story gems. However, if you're a free-to-play player sitting on a pile of contract story gems, I'd personally save those for a gala. Now, for people that really did want to spend, there's two things you need to know. First of all, we've got ourselves the letter from Spring here, which is rewarding you for spending up to 10,000 VIP XP, and you're getting your usual rewards here of Stellar Shards and Mithril Pickaxes, Prism Story Gems too. This is a very standard Moonlight gift for a Sky Labyrinth event. Heck, there's even an artifact chest down here. They've added, though, these diamond Easter eggs, which I guess can be quite useful, but they don't get you too much amazing stuff. But you are getting orange artifacts from that. But again, the Easter ones aren't that great. Personally, if I was going to bump into this and only spend a little bit of money, I would just get 500 VIP XP for the 300 Prism Story Gems. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is to buy the monthly carnival card so that you can get this as part of your normal monthly cycle. And the best way to grab that is always during one of these Sky Labyrinth events because those additional 300 Prism Story Gems are pretty good. For people that wanted to spend big, though, there's an Easter package here for 50 bucks. That's getting you 10,000 Prism Story Gems. It's getting you another 90 Sewing Tools, 20 Cores of Transcendence, 100 Glorious Relics, and you get a Festival Skin Chest here, which is pretty useful as it contains every single rare skin in the game even Patricia's. But I would only go buying this package or pushing the Moonlight gift if I was prepared to go ahead and buy every single value package here. Not just the ones with starry gems, but the ones with money too. And that requires you to spend 350 bucks. But the reason I do that is because if you build the initial four rabbits, Fortress, Forest, Shadow, and Abyss, you can then start building Transcendence, Light, and Dark. These lower stages get you access to Cores of Transcendence. They get you additional Celestial Island resources. They're going to pick you up some rarer items here like elite hero shards for light and darks or exclusive artifact chests and you also get yourself access to core of origin shards but that is not where the spice comes the spice comes from these specific rewards here where you can get divine power aurora gems and scattered spirit vein shards as top rewards as you can see here very very exciting and in fact, there's an opportunity to pick up six lots just from here because you get two lots of them for Transcendence, Light, and Dark. And if you go ahead and max everything, you then get another 10 Divine Power Aurora Gems, two Core of Origin Shards, one million Stellars, one million Crystals, and another 30 Charm Treasure Coupons thrown on top of that. And that makes it really solid value for 350 bucks, especially if you're one of these later game spenders, these big old whales that want to go ahead and maximize their destiny progress and get to Nirvana. Now, we've seen from DH Games a lot of big events in this template, especially in the last few months. And it goes to show that if you're a spender in this game it's really only worth going in these events if you max them and in other cases i would leave them and it's reassuring to know that events just like this one will come in the future so you do not have to spend on every single one of these events like this because there will always be another one where you can go and spend instead. So personally, if you are a little intimidated by all this spending, don't feel pressured to pick it up now. You could just wait for another event just like this one where you did want to spend. But if you've got that 350 bucks and you're ready to go, this event is also pretty exciting. Do bear in mind, though, you will need all those wishing coins and gems too, but that shouldn't be too hard if you're maxing this event because you do pick them up from value packages. Finally, there's a series collection, which is letting you use these charm treasure coupons to get yourself some festival treasures. Although, unfortunately, it only contains the festival treasures from 2024, so the good ones from 2023 are not available. That's pretty sad. And also, guys, another sad thing is these aren't that great. So, yeah, I'll personally be saving these if I get any and using them for hero token, like I said earlier. 
But none of that really matters this week. The big stuff is the fact that free-to-play players are able to pick up both a Core of Origin chest and a Sublimation chest if you guys have the 2,160 wishing coins and 24,000 gems needed. And that, in my opinion, is super duper exciting. If you don't have that much, you can just go ahead and buy one of these. The most efficient way to do this is just to spend 24,000 gems and then an additional 400 wishing coins, and that will give you exactly 150 of those sewing needles. So you can go ahead and then choose whether you're going to go with the origin shard or the sublimation chest. And the nice thing about that is that's not going to destroy your wishing coin total. So if there's another big wishing coin event like this in the future, you then don't have too many spent because it's only 400 if you're going to go in that way, which is nice. Personally, of course, I do think it's better if you've got 2,160 to completely max this event, but I'm aware not every free-to-play player is that blessed. And if you don't have that many gems, hopefully you've got some wishing coins to counter that out as well. So hopefully, whether you're free to play or a spender, you're picking yourself up some really exciting rewards this week. And I think DH Games have done an incredible job putting together a really balanced and rewarding event that rewards both the biggest of spenders and the lowest of free to play. So very cool. And I'd love to see more events like this in the future from DH Games. Next week, we've got ourselves Imps Adventure, Extra Drop Carnival, and Shelter Mission, Anosuke, Betty, Geista, and Delay. Delacium are the heroes for next week, and do bear in mind Delacium requires warriors now instead of mages, and Anosuke requires mages instead of rangers. Don't ask me why, but that's something they've done in previous events. Heck, they might just completely change these heroes. Who knows? Either way, that's this week's event, that's next week's event, and hopefully you guys get something spicy in the week to come. Best of luck. Let me know in the comments section what you're going to be doing, whether you're going to be spending big and going for 350 bucks, or whether you're just going in as a free-to-play player. Personally, I think even big spenders might enjoy a break from spending this week. I personally will, because the last few months have been super expensive if you've been maxing events. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a nice break for me, especially on both of my big accounts. However, I'm sure some of you guys are really excited for that opportunity to pick up a ton of Destiny materials, and that does make this event seem attractive for that reason as well. Heck, free-to-plays, this is your event, really. You're getting so much good stuff, and if you save Wishing Coins and Gems, finally an event is giving you both Sublimation and a Core of Origin for your hard earned saving so hopefully you get those rewards i'll see you next time if you never want to miss an event review like this one join us every friday hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the future until next time have an amazing week and of course happy idling